Now let's see how we can write our first Java program on a text editor. So for this, we'll have three steps. First, we'll download the latest version of Notepad++, which is a text editor on the Windows machine. Then we'll install the Notepad++ on the Windows machine. And finally, we'll write a simple Java program in Notepad++, which will print Hello World on the console. Now, open a browser of your choice and in the search bar type download notepad plus plus for windows click on the first link which is displayed in the search results page and there you will find a list of different downloads which are present for various releases so we'll pick up the latest one which is right now 7.9.5 so click on the first link and there you will find a download link so click on that to download the executable so our download has started and it has completed now let's go to the downloads folder and there you will see the installer double click on the installer to start the installation and now in the installer click on ok to select the language click next click i agree for the license agreement click next again and next and then click on install so the installation is now complete click on the finish button and you will see it opens up a notepad plus plus window where you will find a change log so that completes our second step which is to install notepad plus plus on windows now let's try to use our text editor in order to write our first java program so go to file and click on new now we need to select a language so in notepad plus plus on the top menu click on language and there you will see different letters we need to select java so go to j and there you will find java select java and now notepad plus plus would take care of the java syntax so in order to print hello world we need to write the java code which begins with a class so every program in java begins with a class so we need to write public class followed by the class name which is hello world start of a brace and inside this we'll have our main method so we'll write public static void main followed by string arguments and we'll start off a brace now this is the default syntax for a main method so this is the place from where your execution begins for a java program and inside this we'll have our actual code which is to print hello world so we'll use a class called system.out and a method called print ln inside this we'll write the text which we want to print which is hello world we will put it a semicolon to close the statement and then we'll close the braces which we started for the main method and for the class so this is the program which is to print hello world it has got three lines the first is a class the second is a main method and the third is a statement which will print hello world now we'll look more in detail about what is static what is void and what is a class so we'll look all of these in more details in the later sessions but for now this is our hello world program so let's go ahead and save this so go to file click on save as and in c drive let's create a new folder called projects and inside this we'll create a hello world dot 
java file now keep in mind the name of your file and the class name should be same otherwise you will face compilation issues so go ahead and save this and that completes our third step which is to write the hello world program in notepad plus plus next we will see how we can execute this from a command line tool called command prompt in windows now let's see how we can run our java program from the command line in windows command prompt is the default command line tool and it is basically a interpreter which can be used to execute commands from windows in order to launch the command prompt you can type cmd in the search bar and then hit enter to launch the command prompt so in order to run the java program we will be using some basic commands which are present in the command line tool and those are the following so we'll be using a command called cd which is to change the current directory and then we'll be using a command called dir which is to display a list of files and subdirectories in that particular directory and also you can use help in order to see all the help information which you require for all the commands present in the command prompt so these are some of the basic commands present in the command line tool and then in order to run the java program from the command line tool we need to follow few steps so in java every java code must be compiled before it can be executed in order to compile a java code you need to use the command java c and then followed by the program name which is hello world.java during compilation it is going to create a dot class file and then we can use the command java to execute the program so we'll use java hello world and then it will give you the desired output so this is how you can execute your java program from the command line tool in windows now let's see how we can do that in real time with a command prompt now to launch the command prompt go to your search bar in windows and type cmd hit enter and it will launch the command prompt so here we need to first go to the directory where we saved our java program and we saved it under c projects so let's use the command cd to change the directory to c projects so type cd dot dot slash dot dot slash projects and then the directory would be changed to c projects to list the directory or the contents of this directory type dir hit enter and you will see our hello world java is listed now the next step is to compile our program so type java c followed by your program name which is hello world dot java hit enter and our compilation is successful if not you will receive some errors so in order to verify that again type dir and hit enter and you will see there is a dot class file which has been generated next we need to run the program so type java followed by hello world and hit enter and you will see the text hello world is printed on the console so that is how you can execute a java program which is saved in some directory we can first compile the program and then run the program.